Again and again, researchers are confronted with ominous forces that play supporting roles in the overall picture of the cosmos, but at the same time, seem to defy all known laws. So-called dark energy and its mysterious anti-gravity effect are among those aspects of research that push even the most renowned astrophysicists to the limits of their understanding. Together with you, we would like to take a closer look at this mysterious form of energy and its unique effects. We hope you enjoy this exciting topic. Want to learn more about the exciting discoveries and the breathtaking processes in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to join us from now on on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the cosmos. Feel free to let us know with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. An invisible energy. A look at the history of research shows that the exploration of the universe should already bear some insightful fruits. We now know that the universe is by no means a rigid, unchanging entity, but a construct that is constantly expanding. Experts agree that this process of expansion will continue unchecked in the future. The cosmos does not contain enough matter to collapse one day. According to the calculations of experts, such a universe should in turn have some geometrical peculiarities and in detail, a negatively curved hyperbolic hyperplane. The problem? The measurements draw a picture of an almost perfect plane. But how is this possible? Commonly, this is attributed to the effect of an unknown energy form, which permeates the entire space of the cosmos. However, the same is true for an unexpected characteristic of the universe, which was revealed in the 1990s. The expansion of the cosmos is proceeding at an ever-increasing rate. To explain this initially inexplicable acceleration of expansion, Dark energy was postulated as a generalization of the cosmological constant. However, in the investigation of this mysterious form of energy, a not inconsequential complication arises. The existence of dark energy could not be directly proven experimentally. Also, its physical properties still represent a largely unsolved cosmic mystery. Thereby, the cosmological constant corresponds to a so-called vacuum energy. Put simply, this means the larger the space, the more dark energy. But which physical characteristic of the dark energy could lead in the end to that unrestrained thrust outward, which lets the universe expand ever further. In order to understand this fundamental effect of dark energy, we have to deal with its anti-gravitational effect. For this purpose, it's worthwhile to take a look at the two Friedman equations first. On the track of dark energy. In detail, these are simplifications of Einstein's field equations of general relativity, taking into account that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, or in other words, it always presents itself to the observer in the same way, independent of his location and direction of observation. Certain predictions about the temporal development of the cosmos can be derived. While the first Friedman equation deals with the expansion rate of the universe, the second deals with the deceleration or acceleration of this expansion, thereby applies the more energy and matter is present in the universe, the stronger the gravity pulls inward and tries to stop the expansion. Besides the density, however, the pressure also plays a central role here. Within the general relativity theory, energy, mass, and pressure bend space-time. Let us imagine a kettle under pressure. The gas inside presses outwards when fast-moving particles collide with the inner walls. So, can the effect of dark energy now be compared to the moving particles in a boiler, causing a pressure push outward? Unfortunately, this phenomenon cannot be transferred quite so simply to the expansion processes of the universe. Because in fact, the pressure produces a direct force only if there is a pressure gradient between two regions. In other words, in order for the pressure of the fast-moving particles to produce a thrust outward, the area behind must be an area with a lower pressure. As already briefly touched upon, the universe is, however, according to our present state of knowledge, a homogeneous construct. Therefore, the prevailing pressure is also the same everywhere. This positive pressure, however, should actually be accompanied by the characteristic that the entire universe is practically pulled inward. Or in other words, gravity is always attracting. Simply put, everything that goes up must also come down. From this point of view, the cosmos is therefore never static. Either it expands and slows down, or it contracts and accelerates. This was, however, also the circumstance which caused Albert Einstein to introduce the cosmological constant. He wanted a static universe. 
So, in detail, the cosmological constant was postulated to act in the opposite direction of ordinary matter and energy. Meanwhile, the development of such anti-gravity was not just a sophisticated mathematical trick, but described a real physical phenomenon. The Mysterious Anti-Gravity the final effect of the cosmological constant represents the combined effect of density and dark energy. Thereby, the energy density of dark matter is positive, exactly like that of normal matter. In fact, it must be, because after all, it helps conventional matter smooth the geometry of the cosmos. This turns out somewhat differently in the case of pressure. As already alluded to, positive pressure cannot cause the outward expansion of the universe to accelerate. The breathtaking anti-gravity effect of the dark energy is therefore due to its negative pressure. But what does this mean? As described in the boiler example, positive pressure always pushes outward. A negative pressure would therefore pull everything inward. This is similar to stretching rubber bands in the inner walls of the aforementioned boiler. But how can it be that a pressure pulling inward drives the rapid expansion of the universe in the end? This circumstance, which at first seems like a contradiction in terms, is in turn explained by the relativistic effect. According to this, the negative pressure of dark energy has first of all no direct effect, because also, this negative pressure turns out to be the same everywhere in the universe. However, even if it causes apparently no direct effects, it still possesses, nevertheless, a relativistic effect. From this mathematical point of view, the negative pressure must cause the opposite of the positive pressure, and thus finally cause an anti-gravity effect. There is no question that the relativistic effect of negative pressure is very difficult to describe intuitively, even for experienced scientists. Part of this complication is that negative pressure is not formed from the motion of dark energy particles, whatever they may be. In fact, pressure results directly from the fact that the density of dark matter is constant. If we expand a volume with constant energy density, then it contains more energy than before, since its volume also becomes larger. However, the corresponding energy would have to be provided, which means that work must be done for the expansion. Applied to the field of dark energy, more exactly to that of negative pressure, this means the further the universe expands, the more dark energy is created, since its energy density must remain constant. But who does the work necessary for this? Where does the corresponding energy come from? The answer to these questions is still an unsolved mystery. The general law of conservation of energy states, in a closed system, the sum of all energies is constant. The total energy is therefore conserved. In an expanding universe, however, this fundamental law no longer holds. This is because space and time are not fixed static dimensions within general relativity. Energy can therefore be lost forever, but it can also be gained infinitely. Despite all scientific theories and experiments, the true nature of dark energy can currently only be speculated. The proposal that dark energy occurs in the form of a vacuum energy in empty space is currently particularly widely held, because this also explains the accelerated expansion of the universe. Another model is based on the assumption that it could be the effects of a so-called generic objects of dark energy. These are compact astronomical formations, which at first look like black holes, but in reality are composed of dark energy. The theories say that these objects were formed after the gravitational collapses of earlier massive stars. Thereby, the ominous formations could repel each other again and exist in thread-like connections from visible and dark matter between bigger galaxy clusters, the so-called voids. Researchers discuss again and again whether dark energy is also a cause for inflation during the early days of the universe. Whether such a dark energy can explain the expansion of the cosmos today is completely unclear. Your opinion interests us. What do you think about mysterious dark energy and anti-gravity? Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. Are you in the mood for more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.